run Saturday. Welcome back to a special edition of News 2 today. I am Josh Marthers and alongside with me right here, Katie Augustine. Always good to see everybody here on a Saturday morning and we are getting ready for their next wave of runners to head across the Cooper River Bridge as it is bridge run day in the low country. It sure is usually in the spring, but of course it was postponed a little bit this year to September. A beautiful day out there yeah. though. Thousands of people, 25,000 people out there this it, morning. It, it's we're in the upper 50s. Oh, we yeah. have low humidity. We've got tons of sunshine. The only thing that you got to worry about on this on a day like this is the, is the sunburn. I mean, that's it. <laughs> Uh, we don't have any rain to worry about. We don't have the heat. We don't have the humidity. Katie, this is just perfect for everything we're trying to accomplish, not just for the bridge run. You know, uh, the focus is on this morning, Absolutely. of course, but this is a huge weekend all around. 25,000 participants in this and they got to do something afterwards. Of course, you know? and, and Charleston has plenty to and, offer. And it's going to be wide open. Absolutely. All right, here we go about the next group about to take off here. And there they go. This is another group. The elite male runners took off right at 8 o'clock this morning, and we're almost at 8.20 now. Lots more people still to run. Lots of energy, lots of excitement. Look at that fist bumping at the camera. I love it. Yeah, and they, you know, they've got about six miles to go from here. It's a six, uh, just over six miles. This is a 10K. Uh, and as Carolyn was talking earlier, the beast part of this is going up the incline. The uphill. That's the beast. Once you're there and you're done with that, you're in good shape. And speaking of Carolyn Murray, let's check in with my dear friend. Good morning. Good morning, guys. We are having so much fun. Look at this site. I mean, look at this. Is this not a thing of beauty? Wow, good job, guys. 25,000 strong making their way from Mount Pleasant to Charleston. Good job for the Cooper River Bridge Run. They are so excited to be back on the course. Good job. Good to see you guys. Welcome to Charleston. The weather is always like this. Good to see you all. Man, this has been a long time coming to see all of these walkers and runners. Of course, the walkers will come up just a little bit later. Of course, this is all in corrals. They come through in stages and we can see this is probably getting close to the middle of the pack. Still some of the best runners in the country. Five years old and still running. Did you hear him? Woo! 75 years old and still wow. running. <laughs> he is looking strong as is everyone in this pack. These folks are having a great time. Rob and Josh, thank you for the weather. Good morning. And they're always still so polite. People still just Number saying 34. hello. Number 34, good job. <laughs> Number 34, everyone always very proud of their years of being a part of this. I promise, I think I'm going to promise and be back in this pack again next year. Had the pleasure and joy of running 27 of these races, and it is always the best event. Count on two. Thank you for that. These folks are going into downtown Charleston. They will make that left turn onto Meeting Street. They'll make a right on Wolf, a left on King, a left on Wentworth, and then a left on Meeting and head down to Marion Square where they will receive their medals for traveling and being a part of the 44th Cooper River Bridge Run. You guys look amazing! Amazing! so much energy as they make their way up the span of the Ravenel Bridge. They start about two miles away, Josh and Katie, you well know, at Shem Creek, and then they have this two-mile course. Good job, guys! This two-mile course on the Ravenel Bridge up the span. You guys look amazing. And then, whoa! And then two miles in downtown. Hey there, look at you, look at you! Two miles in downtown Charleston. This is just the best, as you can tell, by the shouts and cheers. These guys are just thrilled to be a part of it. Count on two, counting on you, buddy. <laughs> we are having a lot of fun up here on the Ravenel Bridge. Of course, there are a lot of people who still haven't even moved yet. And for those of you watching from home, you may be wondering when the bridges will open up. Not until 11 o'clock. So a lot of the roads will be closed in downtown Charleston. 
Thank you for that. Throughout the day, they'll actually be closed until 2 o'clock on Sunday. Some of those streets, just to let you know, Calhoun, George, Anson, Alexander, Charlotte, Henrietta, Elizabeth streets. You will not be allowed to get through those streets unless you have a residential pass. So just, you know, kind of stay clear of that area or maybe go down and just enjoy the fun. But still happy to see all of these folks who are making their way up. You guys look fantastic. Go, go, go. You're almost at the top and then smooth sailing, right? All right. Count on two. Thank you for that. Yeah, this is just so much fun. Families do it. We had a chance to speak with some families earlier. There is certainly no age limit to be a part of this event. We know the wheelchair athletes finish in record time, 22 minutes. Of course, the records for men in this event, 2740. For women, it's 3110. We'll see if these athletes will beat that today. The weather will certainly make it a lot easier to meet those goals. You guys are looking great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Welcome to the Low Country. Welcome to the 44th Cooper River Bridge Run. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys for being here. Guys, you should just see it's an ocean of people making their way right past the News 2 studio. Hello there. <laughs> Good to see you. Oh, look at you with the guns in the air. <laughs> but um, there are about three bands. Good morning, three bands along the race course, tons of radio stations. And I don't know if folks know this, but when they get down and before they make that left turn on Meeting Street, there's usually a donut stand, you know, which is, this is one of the, if you didn't carbo load the night before, you'll get a nice sweet treat once you hit Meeting Street in downtown Charleston. Like. Well, I guess if you're running a 10K, you definitely you deserve a donut or two, huh? It's all about the energy source. You know, it's all yeah. about the energy, and it's always good when the energy source is a real nice, sweet one. But these guys have earned it, man. You know, for some people, this is an annual event, and for... Uh, many people, this is the first time coming here, and you know, that's how this event has grown. I spoke with the founder of the race, Dr. Marcus Newberry, and the race, the goal that first year was 500 people, but on race day, they actually had 700 people to turn out, and now look at this. This race has been up to 40,000. I represent, my friend. Up to 40,000 people have participated in this event over its 44-year course. And it has grown in so many ways. I mean, now we have the wheelchair division, we have the race expo, we have all kinds of events. It really has become a week long, uh, a week filled with many activities, all celebrating health and wellness in the community. That's how this race actually started. It was designed to get people to think about wellness and health prevention and of course many entities came together to make it happen. You've got the College of Charleston, the Medical University of South Carolina, Roper Hospitals, of course, all of the town of Mount Pleasant, the city of North Charleston, as well as North Charleston. And now the result of it has become an economic boom for this area. So we are so happy this event is going so strong. The race founder, Dr. Marcus Newberry, is here and we are so happy that he had a mission that he saw it through and it's one look at you absolutely all right tahoe tahoe strong you know there is not a race you can't say go race until tahoe is in the house so how about that josh sending it back to you tell us about the forecast at the end of the race is it still going to be a really nice saturday for us it really is, Carolyn. We're talking high temperatures today right around 80. Uh, we're steadily climbing right now. Uh, as we look at current temperatures, most of us are in the 50s and low 60s now. Uh, we're at 57 still at Charleston International Airport. It's 59 in Mount Pleasant. It has climbed into the 60s, though, in the lower Charleston County Sea Islands. And we're going to be keeping this going through the day, steadily climbing this morning with dry air in place. You know, that's one of the things, very dry air. It cools off nicely at night, but it heats up very quickly too. And that's why we're going to push 80. It really is going to be a very nice day. So let's plan it out for you. Temperatures through the afternoon, climbing into the upper 70s to low 80s with some passing clouds. Otherwise, it is just going to be gorgeous. Here's your planning forecast, how it all stacks up. Nine o'clock, we're at 63. 
by the time everybody's finished with the race, we're going to be in the low to mid 70s with some passing cl clouds at noon. It'll be pleasantly warm through the afternoon and then any evening plans you have will be in the 60s. As we look at the Low Country's only 10 day outlook, this keeps going. So if you're in town for the bridge run, maybe you've got a family member right now running it and you're trying to figure out what you're going to do for the rest of the weekend, stick around with us here because it's going to be nice for the next five days and really for the next 10. So we're going to head to Mark Morgan, News 2 Sports Director I'll step over. in downtown I Charleston at the finish line. Hey Mark, good morning. All right, thanks very much. Uh, good, good morning. It's a little frantic down here. We've talked about the uh, the record times, 27.40 for the men, and that's an overall time, 31.19 for the women. I think it's going to be close with this weather. With this weather now, we would think the times would be less than the record. Let's see now. We're at 27.35 as we speak. You are looking live at the finish line. And we're waiting for the first male runner to come through. Actually, the announcer now saying that the course record may be safe. Again, that course record is 27 minutes and 40 seconds, and we are over that officially. Kind of a surprise to me. I thought, I thought with the cool weather that uh, that we would have a course record. The racers are very close. Here we go. Here is your winner of this year's Cooper River Bridge Run in about 28, 25 seconds. 28, 25, there is your overall winner. And it was close. It was very close. Look at these runners all bunched together here. You know, and Mark, even though the record is safe this year with that 20 As you see, all the elite Mark. runners now finishing. I'm sorry, say again. Oh, that's okay. I was just saying, even though the record is safe this year with that 2740 mark, right. this is still just elite talent. This is so impressive yeah. that these Katie, runners so are able Katie, to Katie, I'm sorry. Every time, you ask, every time you ask me a question, the PA guy starts talking, and so I can't hear you. But uh, there's your winner right there, your male winner and your overall winner. We haven't been able to get his name yet. Oh, it is Edward Chazarek. Edward Chazarek is your winner from Kenya. He's 27 years old, a 17-time NCAA champion. And his time was about 28.25. 28.25 roughly for Edward Chesarek from Kenya. He is your winner. We're now waiting. We're now waiting for the women's elite runner to finish. We will get uh, Edward over here for a real quick interview in a moment, but we want to make sure and get the women's winner as well. So, as you see, several of the elite runners have finished. Mark to uh, confirm the female, and we still got a lot of folks coming up the bridge. You, you know, it's funny, Katie, we talk about this. Typically, we got 40,000, and now we're at 25,000 this year. And it's uh, this is the most people that have been on this bridge in two years. Oh, yeah. It's kind of amazing mm -hmm. to see that here, especially this time of year. Uh, you could not ask for a better morning than this. Definitely not. It's sunny, 59. All right, again, Mark's the male winner has finished the overall winner. 
Again, the male winner has finished. We mentioned him, and we're going to sp speak to Edward uh, Chazarek in just a second. We're waiting for the female runner to finish. Again, uh, Edward's uh, his time. Here we go, right here. This is your female winner right here. Here she comes. And you see the two ladies finishing very close to each other, so much like the men, the elite runners for both the men and women bunched together. Now Rojas is your winner for the women. Okay, we're going to have our men's winner in now. We're going to speak to him live. Edward, come on over, man. All right, we're, uh, we're live right now. First of all, just uh, your impressions on, on winning the race. What was it like? Uh, it was, I think it was good to come here for the first time and just try to see if I can win, but I end up winning anyway. So which is good, I feel good, and the race was awesome. What, was, what, what did you expect, and how was the race different than what you thought it would be? Uh, I thought it was going to be a little bit uh, faster, but you know we we started slow and we ended up finishing stronger. And uh, I was I was trying to go with the top guys, you know, and hang in there until the last minute. And uh, I ended up making a move towards like two k to go. Obviously, you're a world class runner, but how was the bridge, man? What'd you think of that? Uh, that, that bridge was good for me. You know, I like running a little bit hills, but down the hill it was just messed up a little bit for me. But I wish it was kind of a little bit up the hill all the way through. But it was a good race anyway. And I bet the weather was just right for you guys, right? What about that? Oh, the weather was perfect. You know, it wasn't hot, it wasn't cold. That was perfect weather for a long distance. Congratulations. Thank you so much. All right. There you hear for the men's winner, Edward Chazarek of Kenya. He's 27 years old. Again, his time was a little over the uh, course record. I think he was about, I think they said 28, 26, roughly. So we will speak to the women's winner in just a moment. Thanks, Mark. Yeah, we're continuing to take live coverage here, a live look as folks are coming up the ascent from Mount Pleasant to the top of the Cooper River Bridge right by News 2 Studios. We've got full team coverage this morning. News 2 Sports Director Mark Morgan is live downtown at the finish line. We've got Carolyn Murray up at the base or actually on the incline coming up the bridge. And are we going to Carolyn right now? Looks like she's got somebody up. Oh, oh, she's she's just taking a taking a picture with somebody uh, in the crowd there. Look at her. No, Carolyn's no. the best cheerleader. I, I've got my I mean, friend. I, look who we found. Look, <laughs> look, look who I, we found I, earlier. I you we found you Travis from yourself. Tennessee. Travis, how's it going, buddy? Uh, I'm tired. You're tired. <laughs> you can hang out. You can catch your breath and talk for a little bit. Yeah. But I mean, this is incredible, right? The weather is really nice. It is That's, really nice. Yeah. Okay. So we want to go talk to the female winners. So you go up and see the female winners for yourself. We're going to go back to downtown Charleston. That's where Mark Morgan is right now. Mark, take it away. All right, thank you very much. Again, we're here at the finish line. Nell Rojas out of Colorado is here with us now. Nell, you won the race, the women's elite race. Uh, what were your thoughts on the run? Um, perfect conditions, really fun. The bridge was tough, but otherwise it was like super smooth sailing. Let's talk about that bridge, right? I mean, are you used to running bridges? And, and what was your mindset coming in with this bridge? And then how did it play out for you? Right. Um, I mean, from Colorado, I run a lot of hills. Um, I'm preparing for Boston, which has some hills. So I know every time there's like a hill in the race, I'm, I have advantage. So, you know, it's, that doesn't mean I'm not like, oh man, there's a hill, this is hard. But it means like, I know I'm as prepared as the girl next to me. Did you feel like you were in control the entire race? Were you keeping an eye on the other women? Yeah, I mean, the goal it's for me always is don't let the girls go. Try to hang on for as long as possible and then make your move at the end. Right, you don't want to lose, you don't want to lose touch, right? You don't want to lose touch. And I did a little bit with Sharon. She pulled ahead. I was able to reel her back in the last 800 meters. Right. Yeah. So what was this experience like coming to Charleston and doing this? So fun. I mean, everyone's super hyped for this. Everyone's excited. Are you running the bridge run? I'm like, yeah, I'm here for that. So it's, it's really cool. Well, we're glad it lived up to your expectations. Congratulations. That was very impressive. Thank you. Awesome. Nell Rojas again, your women's elite winner. And as you see over my shoulder, the runners continue to finish uh, here at the finish line on Meeting Street. Let's go back to the studio. 
Thank you so much, Mark. Like you can see, still tons of people making their way up the Ravenel Bridge on this absolutely gorgeous day. I mean, if it were me, I might have to stop for a second just to take a look at those views. I mean, come on. Yeah, I mean, it's gorgeous, and you couldn't ask for a better weather mm -hmm. day either. That's the thing. Uh, one thing, though, that we do want to remind everybody, this, there are still going to be lots of traffic yes. issues here mm -hmm. for the next couple of hours. Things really don't start clearing up until midday into the early afternoon. So if you're going to be out and about, just remember, Keep that you in can't mind. use 17 mm -hmm. coming into Mount Pleasant or going out of Mount Pleasant. You're going to have to go all the way around on the Mark Clark. Absolutely. All right, we're going to check back in with News 2's Carolyn Murray. She's up on the incline of the bridge right now. Carolyn, we love that you've been cheering people on. You've done this race many times, so tell us how <laughs> it's going out there. You know, this is the amazing thing. It doesn't matter how many times, Katie, you've done the Cooper River Bridge Run. Of course, you know, this is the 44th event. When you see this site, and I'm stepping out, when you see this river, this sea of people making this ascent, it always takes your breath away. It's always the most exciting thing to see, and it's also, of course, really special to be a part of. So this is just so great that so many people love coming to our beloved city every year to be a part of this amazing event. It's more than just a race because really the only people who are doing incredible times are the elite athletes Mark just had a chance to meet, but it's it's everybody. It's the people in the race. It's the people who are along the course. It's all the vendors. It's everybody who's a part of it. So this is just the best event. Go guys, go! We love cheering everybody on. We love that they cheer each other on. We we love you too. We love all the absolute 80 years? 70, 70, I aged the man 10 years already. Congratulations, <laughs> sir, 70 years old. We had a chance to see Travis and Chase along the course as well. Hey, mom, that's the, there you go. I mean, that's the kind of energy that's a part of this race. Mark, we're gonna send it back to you and you get to see the finishers when it is nothing but relief. Hey, Gary, nothing but relief there at the end of this 6.2 mile race from Mount Pleasant to Charleston, buddy. <laughs> That, that's true, Carolyn. A lot of relieved runners. My man here is barely winded. Uh, what's your name again? Dan Jones. So, Dan, you're from Charleston, correct? Yeah, I live in Mount Pleasant. Awesome. So, how many times have you run the bridge run? What's this experience been like for you? I think it's my fifth or sixth time. Uh, today was actually a PR for me, so pretty pumped. Oh, congratulations. For those listening, a PR is a personal record. Yeah. <laughs> so, what'd you run? Uh, just a hair under 37. Awesome. Yeah. Unofficially. <laughs> so, so what was it like? We've talked so much this morning about how the weather is really conducive to, to good runs, PRs, like you said. What was that like in terms of the cool temperatures? Yeah, you know, cool temperature and low humidity, you know, low dew points. So, I mean, it's just, it makes a world of difference, even by 10 degrees. So, you wake up in the morning, you see the weather like this, and you just know you got a really good opportunity to do something special. So, I just took advantage of it, just probably like most people out here, and just left it all out on the course. You've run this race multiple times, but there is ever a point on the bridge where you're going, oh, man, the bridge again? You know, uh, until I started having a one-to-one -one coach, I would always just try to crush it on the uphill, right. and I just would fade on the back half. And so for the past couple of years, it's actually been a blessing because I just take it easy. I just keep my heart rate steady and don't try to you know, blow the roof off of it and just allows me to get to the last half in, in good shape. So how's it happened today? Just let it just come, come to fruition, and here we are. It's been two years, right, since we've run this race. How much have you and other runners in Charleston missed this event? Oh, just tremendously. You know, I've been very lucky to be a triathlete, so I've done a couple of races, but I've talked to a couple of my friends. And this is our first race in two years, you know, and it's just such a huge event. It's so special. You know, we get to spend time downtown, hanging out, you know, just trying to break through this pandemic, you know, safely. and you know, and with PRs, so. So please don't tell me that later today you're gonna go for a, a warm, warm down run. You're not gonna do that, are you? I might go for like a little, like half mile. Oh, you're killing here. me. Right here, super <laughs> slow, like super easy, nothing. I mean, I could have a full on interview if I wanted to, you know, that, that kind of, but no, just take it easy, enjoy downtown, you know, just come have fun and enjoy some restaurants and some good food and good weather. Awesome, man, congratulations again on the PR. Thank That's you. cool, Pleasure have a great you. day. You too. You Bye. got it, all right. So, so there you go, again, these are the folks finishing, these folks, uh, uh, like uh, the runner right there who've run this event four or five times. This is a big deal. So uh, let's go back to the studio and another weather update, guys. Absolutely. You know, I was going to say, Josh, that slow and steady wins the race. Not necessarily Not slow necessary. from that guy, but steady wins the race. And it the does. weather does play a big it, part. You know, it, it's, it's one of those things that, that we talk about with this every year of the Cooper River mm -hmm. Bridge Run. And, and I got to tell you, 
I, I think this is probably the best weather we've had as far as, wow. as the way the dew points are aligned, the air temperatures, everything is perfect. Like it really, there is a science to this when it comes to running and weather is involved. And whenever you're looking at a day like today, when we saw this teed up earlier in the week, we were going, oh, this is going to be a good one. And, and I got to go with Mark on this, too. I'm really surprised uh, that we didn't have, a, have a, a race record this morning with the running conditions we have. It's 61 right now at News 2 Studios. As you can see, the runners and walkers coming right up the ascent of the Ravenel Bridge, headed over Charleston Harbor and the Cooper River into downtown. Let's see how it looks where you live this morning. Got a trio of 55s clustered well inland at King Street, St. George, and Walterboro. It's 57 on Edisto Beach. The Edge of America, 63 this morning at Folly, 61 in Mount Pleasant, and it's 57 at Charleston International Airport. Here is your planning forecast for today. Sunshine at 9 o'clock around 63, 75 at 12, about 80 at 3, 78 at 5, and 69 degrees as we head toward 8 o'clock. Wall to wall sun this morning. More sunshine on the way tomorrow and a high of 82 for everybody that's here. Let's head out to Forrest Tucker, who is at the start line, talking to the race director. I think you got Irv with you, don't you, Forrest? Good morning. Josh, yes, I do have her with me. Irv, first off, congratulations, Thanks. man. You, you've done such a great job. How do you feel? It's a simple question, but... Well, I was walking to the van and I was like, well, we're halfway there. And they're like, no, it's already started. We're just rolling through, so... I, I can't wait to get downtown um, to see the, uh, the the finishers and stuff. And it was a blast watching them start. So yeah, we're just overjoyed that we're able to do a live event and you know, keep it safe and stuff. So great, great. We have a record that's been broken. Tell us about that. The wheelchair winner broke the course record, and I don't have the official time, but I think it was like 22:58. So I was like, that. I mean, we have the wheelchair course record holder in the field. So they just broke his record and I know records are made to be broken. So I'm excited to see the wheelchair people and I'm excited to see them all down there at Marion Square. Great, great. Uh, what, what was the best thing you heard from a runner today that, that talked to you? Well, everyone said that I talked to were like, you're smiling. And, and, and it was true. I just couldn't get it off my face. It's just because we're doing this. It's, it's here. Seeing the people on Coleman Boulevard, seeing the fence, seeing... It, it, this is the whole thing. So, yeah, I couldn't get the smile off my face. So, It's been a long two years, Irv. Were there ever times that you thought this was not going to happen? Did you ever feel like you wanted to throw in the towel, give up? Were there moments of adversity that you said, I need to overcome it? Oh, no, no. This was, I mean, it was going to happen. You know, we, we had some bumps in the road, but, you know, here we are. And I can't wait for April already. So, Can't wait for April. Can't wait for April. Um, just, just Irv, again, um, seeing all the runners was so great for me. It's my first bridge run. Does it ever get old? You've done this so much. No, never gets old. I, I was telling my mom on the, the podium, and it's like, I'm getting emotional mm -hmm. watching yeah. this because all the work you put into it, and then you see it happening. It's like, this, this is awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. Well, it may be emotional too, everyone. So um, for now, I'm going to toss back to our News 2 studios in Mount Pleasant. Thank you all so much. Reporting live in Mount Pleasant, I'm Forrest Sucker. Count on two. Forest. All right. Well, look who look at Carolyn has. Carolyn found a very special guest here today. Of course, it's our one and only Rob Fowler. This is a good break. Do, do I look a little happy? <laughs> we found Rob. Rob okay, we're break. messing up his time right now. That's okay. So you got to take whatever Rob does. You got to take like five, ten minutes off his time. How's it doing? How's it going, buddy? Is it over yet? It is not over yet. You got to get over I that. Know. Grace and I are, this is our meteorology, meteorology <laughs> intern, there. Grace. And uh, we're, we're going to get over it. You're going to get over it. And, and what do you think, Rob? I mean, you know, you had that two-mile trek to get up. It, that was a piece of cake. Then okay. when you get on the incline, it's a little different. Well, that was a piece of cake, but you got the icing. Yes, so, the you know, icing's coming. And then coming. you get the cherry on the top at the end. And we got brunch waiting for us on the <laughs> other end. So, <laughs> Is it more difficult than you thought it might uh, be? Yes, definitely this, this incline. <laughs> right. And, and the thing is, you actually haven't done it yet. So. <laughs> right. Well, okay. We're kind of halfway there. Maybe a third of the way there. Yeah. yeah, we appreciate it, though. But it's been so, isn't it great to just see how many people turn out to, to challenge themselves physically? I tell you what, getting started in the start, everybody's in a great mood. The weather is beautiful. Uh -huh. Carolyn, people are hooping and hopping. And this is what Charleston's all about. 
involved in that. Cooper River Bridge Run is all part of that. And what about you, Grace? <laughs> oh, I'm dying right now, Carolyn. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Grace has been with us all summer. That's right. We're so happy, and she's yes, finishing up her degree at the College of Charleston. And yes, she is Rob's mentor, and so Rob is her mentor. I met, she's actually, mentoring me, too. Right, exactly. Yeah, this and, in both ways. So she we're she so knows a lot about the young mu music I don't know about. <laughs> That's all right. I think it all balances out. But we are thrilled at the both of you participating in this event, you, and yeah. everyone else, of course, all your friends along the route. We're going to let you get started. The best to both of you. Thanks, Thank you so much. Oh, Thanks. So happy. All right. All right. We want to see you guys run off into the distance. All right. We'll Knees high. All right. All right. I'll start my time. Back I, I've up. got one final word for you, Rob. Yeah. A leave. Uh, A leave. <laughs> Lots of it. And lots of it. Bye, guys. All right. Our chief meteorologist, Rob Fowler, and his mentee, Grace. Grace was with us all summer working with Rob and learning about weather, and they agreed to do this event together as they make that stroll. Not at all a stroll, actually, but make their way up the Ravenel Bridge to the top of the bridge. They've got about two miles to go across the bridge and then two miles into downtown Charleston. But they're not alone, as you can see, about 25,000 people around them. Great to hear that exciting news about the first finishers in each division, the wheelchair athletes, the women finishers, as well as the men finishers. Um, I think Mark said a record-setting day. Thank you. Good to see you. <laughs> that's the kind of excitement that's happening today. But great to hear those first numbers. And these folks will hear their numbers in just a short time. The bridge closes at 11 once all of these athletes have made their way from Mount Pleasant to Charleston. But we're just going to step back a little bit and just take a look at all these folks along the course. Of course, this happens in waves, so we'll, there'll be a, a, just a couple of seconds or minutes, if you will, of a low between the athletes, and then once again, we'll see a big group of people coming by. So you guys, look at you, you're on the bridge, you're almost at the end. Good job. Thank you guys so much for being here. All right, thank you, Carolyn, very much. A lot of excitement where you are, a lot of excitement here. I'm with Sydney Allen from Columbia. You just completed the race, your thoughts? Uh, the what, sorry, the weather, was, the weather was great. I uh, couldn't have been a better race. Um, you know, a lot of times it's so humid this time of year, but it's nice with it being in September. Obviously, there was less people this year, but it felt just as big, like being in there, you know, people all around. The start was really lively, as it always is. It was a great day. What about your time? What, how, how, did, how did that work out for you? Um, I was shooting for right under 45 minutes, and I, I didn't get my official time, but on my watch I got just a couple seconds under that, so I'm really happy. just barely got it, so... You told me you had run the race, I guess, about 10 years ago. You know, what's kind of changed? Obviously, you know, it's not, not as many runners as you said. Yeah, it, just this year with it being COVID, obviously it's grown every year. But um, it's now that I live in Charleston, it's really fun because I know where I am the whole time because in the past when I was running it in high school. I ran cross country in high school. So we come down here and run it. And, you know, no, like being from here, I mean, not being from here, living here now, it's like obviously like through different eyes and it was like great, you know, to be right here. and. It was just really fun. <laughs> what is the camaraderie like among the runners as you go across the bridge and run through this course? Oh, it's awesome. Like, even from the start, everybody's, you know, you're lined up about 20 minutes before. Everybody's meeting each other, you know, from all over, all different ages. And even during, you know, you've got people in costumes, you've got people, you know, that are elder that are still running in. You've got high schoolers running in. Everyone's, you know, there'll be people hopping and puffing. They'll be, and someone will run by and be like, you got it, man. Like, almost there. Like, people yelling. It's like a great, it's like everybody's friends up there. <laughs> and you don't miss the humidity, right? We got lucky. We got really lucky this year. It's literally perfect. I was actually a little chilly before the start, and I was like, this is weird. <laughs> it was super nice, though. Thanks for being with us. Have a wonderful day. Good Thanks, you too. You All right, as you see, many of these runners here coming through. Let me talk to you real quick. Come on over here. We're no, we're going to do this real quick here. All right, you just finished. You're not winded at all. Uh, what's your name and where are you from? I'm Roland Trask. I'm from Somerville, South Carolina. Savannah. So, did you get a PR today? I did, actually, yeah. Yeah. What was it? Uh, so, uh, just under 50. So, last time I did it, I was just over 50. So. So obviously, too, being from Somerville, you've run the race a lot. How, how would you compare it now to the other times? I know you missed it the last two years, right? Yeah, I just love the weather today. Couldn't ask for a better day here in Charleston. So 
It was nice. It was a little tough training through the heat of the summer where you normally train through the winter, but it was a good day. Are you used to the bridge at this point, having run it before? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's our... No sweat? No sweat. You know, it's our only place to get some hill work in here in town, so... I just talked to uh, one of the runners about the camaraderie that you runners have during this race. Describe that for me. Uh, it's just great to be out here as a group and, you know, get back to doing what we love and uh, training together and, you know, just really helps you get through the tough times. Hey, thanks for stopping by, man. Have a good weekend. Yeah, have a great weekend. All right, you got it. So, again, the runners continue to cross here. Uh, we are live at the finish line. It's been a wonderful morning for the Cooper River Bridge Run. Let's go back to the studio for now. Thank you so much, Mark. It's great to hear from everyone who's finishing the race. We're just about an hour past that first group of runners running out. Yeah, it, it, the, the weather is cooperating nicely. Yep. And, and here's the thing. We're now getting ready to move past the bridge run to the bridge run after the festivities after party. where everybody's going to be going through the tents downtown out on the streets, planning their dinner mm -hmm. plans for the evening, going through their Sunday plans, and it yeah, is going it to be it's gorgeous. Tough we got Carolyn Murray out there with us, too. Uh, we're going to check back in with Carolyn. Hey, Carolyn, good morning. Oh, did, did you run? For, yeah, good morning. Did Sky, oh, you ran from Atlanta? I, uh, yes, I, I ran from Atlanta. <laughs> yeah, I ran another 100 feet from the starting line. How's it going for you? It's going just fine. You're, what do you think about the race course? Is it your first time being here? Uh, yes, first time here. Wow, why'd you decide to do this this year? A friend talked me into uh, it. Oh, you got a good friend. Uh, well, Let's see if your friend's well, at the we, end of the course. We were discussing this uh, <laughs> early this morning. <laughs> right. it, it wasn't a good idea. It wasn't a good idea. Yeah, yeah, You're going to have a good time. Early. We've got lots of Woo! treats for you at the end. Yeah, you, yeah we've got friends from Thanks. all over 50 states represented at the Cooper River Bridge Runs and lots of countries too. Are you guys having a good time or what? Yeah. Is, it, was it still a good decision to participate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you guys having a good time? Yeah. What's been the hardest part so, so far? The, the race, right? The whole thing, the whole thing is tough. Getting up this morning, what was the most difficult part of it? Getting up, you still having fun? We've got a little participant here. Can you come over and talk to us? What, what do you think about this? It's fun. It's fun? Yeah. Has it been harder or easier than you thought? Um, harder. Harder? But you're still having fun, right? All right, well, you go have fun. Good to see you guys. Are you guys still having a good time? Yeah? What do you think about our weather? What do you think, boys? Are you having fun? You having fun? You're still carbo loading, right? Yeah, is that the best breakfast? What are you having? What are you eating? Tell what you're having, bud. Pop tart. All right, the breakfast of champions, Pop-Tarts. All right, you guys have a good race. See you at the finish. You guys still having fun? Yeah. Still think this was a good move? Yeah? <laughs> Where are you from? Myrtle Beach. Myrtle Beach. Mount Pleasant. Mount Pleasant. You get the award for traveling the farthest. Where were you from? New Hampshire. New Hampshire. Woo! New Hampshire. New York. New York. Where are you from? North Carolina. North Carolina. Bulldogs. Woohoo! Tigers. All right, Tigers. Where are you Go from? Penn State. Go Penn, Penn State. State. Where are you from? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Oh my goodness. And Dolly, how about Charleston? What about Charleston? I I got a Dolly, so that means someone who really knows me. <laughs> Where are you from? Washington Park, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Philadelphia. Where are you from? Texas, Texas. Yeah. California, South Carolina. Where are you? Greensboro, Maryland. Oh my goodness! Are, uh, my goodness. Green. There are a lot of people here. I don't know if you picked up on that, but every state is represented. And you know what? That line, we can't even see the end of it. It's really pretty incredible to see the folks. You guys still feeling good? You still feeling good? You're on the bridge. You're on the bridge. Indiana. I love this. Where are you from? Goose Creek. Goose Creek. Where are you from? Charleston. Where are you from? Tennessee. Where are you from? Island. Holly Island. Where are you guys from? Charlotte. 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 Wow, wow. They are from absolutely everywhere. Turtle Beach, baby. 
<laughs> We're going to send it back to this studio. And again, we've got a lot more to show you because that line, we see no end to it. So we're going to send it back to you in the studio, Josh and Katie. Carolyn, good morning. Thank you so much. Uh, gosh, you know, she's just having so much fun. She really it, is. You can definitely tell she element. has the most energy right out there right now. Uh, and, and, you know, it's it's been a great morning to mm -hmm. watch this for the first time in two years. You know, we haven't seen this. And, and it's and that energy that I think Carol, that you're seeing from Carolyn can be carried across the entire crowd. Absolutely. There. Yep. It's a great day for it. I mean, the weather makes a big difference in times and all that good stuff. It really does, and we're setting up for an awesome day. Right now, most of us are in the 50s and low 60s. As we head toward the 9 o'clock hour, you can see all those temperatures are updating there. As we, as we get the 9 o'clock data in, we're now mostly in the 60s. We're headed for afternoon highs in the upper 70s to low 80s. And you know what, Katie? This keeps going. As we look ahead, tomorrow, 82. 84 Monday, mid 80s Tuesday, upper 80s Wednesday, but notice those overnight lows around 60 to the low 60s. That lets us know the air is still going to be quite dry. This is more like a San Diego five day forecast. Absolutely gorgeous out there. Lots of beautiful weather for a lot of people to get out and do some nice things. Here's another live look at our finish line. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.